And some of the coin hunter. We got some nickels from my sister's house to go through today. I'm gonna start off looking for anything older than the 60s, or if anything current, it'd be the 2004-2005 nickels. Unless I see something worth looking put into scope. So, and for any type of die chips on the back, any type of could be some cracks. Seventy nine. So they know which coins I'm keeping. Oh, we got a D. Let's see what we got. We have a fifty nine D. We got to find on the board. Any queen type of cuz, anything on the rims? Let me see if I can move the scope where I can look look at stuff a little bit better. I can't keep flipping the corn the that up and down but to show y'all stuff. But I can look at it for my me to view if I see anything. I'll tell y'all about it. Why is this thing not tightened down? I do not know. I see something on the reverse. It may be a straight, or it may just be. Uh, no, nope, it's just a gouge. Right underneath Monte, the words M and O for Monticello. And doubling on this. Gouge in the chin. And die chips in the hair. Oh, we got 2005. We got another find in this group. Ocean in view. Oh, joy from the 2004-2005 series and we got another one 2005 same coin they'll be on the dirty side but I'll take it Three fourteen. so oh. Something's going on. Oh, shoot. Someone dropped the controller. That's doing some crazy weird stuff to me just now. Nineteen eighty five with some red junk on it. Get rid of that. We don't want that one. <clears throat> 2002p got the steps but too, too many are damaged to be worrying about 77 Dirty waters and coins. He keeps finding die chips on the outer, on the outer edges of Monticello on his nickel hunts. I have yet to have that kind of luck. There's a dime. I'm just curious. Nah, nothing. I'll just look at that one later. I thought I had all these separated. One thing I'm looking for is annealing errors. That's where the planchette flakes off. It gets overheated. You get like a bronze color. Sometimes you get the copper coating come all the way through. This nickel got too hot. E1D, we got 14, dirty. Uh, 
96. 2016. 2017D. Sixteen Denver, twenty thirteen. Just be about an AU fifty eight with four steps. Let's see if the four steps are there. Yep. It's got the full steps on this one. Hmm. That's one for my nephew to figure out what he wants to. Oh, we got a piece one. The first nickel of the 2004 2005 series. It's the third find of the hunt. Fifteen. I don't know how these dimes separated, but apparently I didn't do too well of a good job on that, did I? 72. Now, the nickels and quarters and dimes, I mean, nickels, quarters, and pennies I got from my album. I'm just Helping my system them out. There's a huge jog of change. Oh, found a quarter. It's an eagle back. 1996, but not the one I'm looking for. And it's 69 or 70 Philly on those two. Well, he's got four steps, but there's a big gash over to the right. He's got four steps, a big gash, just be an XF 40 or 35 with four steps. And worth about a buck. Maybe two bucks. Because of the gash into it. Also looking for a 2009s, 2010 nickels and dimes. It's an ugly 2015 nickel. D had one or two steps on it, not full steps. It's one thing I look for in these nickels if they if they're older, if they got full steps or not. Most of the time they don't. This one's beat up. It's an 88. It had one step line in it. 2017 P D. Another 2005, do we have the Buffalo? Nope, Pacific and View, oh joy. No, it's the three of them. Four steps, 2000. Uh, if that's full steps or not. Nope, it's got some dings in it. Go on. We got another D. Novers. I mean, reverse is a 55D. Cool. We got two old nickels. Uh, that's grungy. I don't even want to touch that one. I have to wash my hands after that one. Two 
2001 full steps, some odd toning on one side. You make out the railing on top of Monticello. I don't see no doubling of anything. You make out the porch. I'm keeping this one. This is a nice find for a 2000. All the 2000 find are not that nice with the steps. Ninety-seven. It's dirty, but let me see something. Ah, uh, it's missing half the steps. Kind of smushed in there. Another two thousand five. What have we got? Pacific in view. Oh joy! Got four of those and one of the piece nickels. Ugly 2001. I got enough of the 2000s, the last four or five years of the 2000s to have full steps. I already verified them. It's now getting the money up to get them sent in and get graded. And that's going to so. Here's what we got. We have four 2005 Pacific in view, one piece, a nice full step, 2001. No, I ain't checked this. When people talk about the die chips on the women's series, I check every one when I can. I don't see anything like that on Jefferson. This would probably be uh, an AU fifty five. No, I go a little bit lower than that. I have to look it up. When we got it was a 55D. 59D. See if there's any repunch mint mark. On D, nope. <coughs> 55D. No, I can't get it. Magnified so nope. So those are the finds for the nickels. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe so I can grow my channel. Uh I have decided if and when I hit 500 subscribers I'm going to give away two Ike dollars type 1 and type 2 of the bicentennial years I need 500 subs to get that done so let your friends know so uh, we'll figure out some way how to do that later when that happens so right now I'm at 43 subscribers so I need a lot more for me to do a giveaway so, guys, have a good evening. I hope you all enjoy this hunt. Make sure you turn the bell for future, future notifications.